Today is a very special day for Regen Rovers. We're going to be taking on Chelsea in the Europa League final. And that is why I've gone out and bought a gold tie. I finally have an appropriate tie for a Regen Rovers final. I, I don't have a gold suit, sorry, but a gold tie is the next best thing. I think from now on this is going to have to be the tie I wear for every single final on this channel. Not just Regen Rovers, just in the future. You know, it fits the name Golden FM of course. Now then, this is big. This is so big. We've already qualified for the Champions League. That is the biggest prize for winning the Europa League these days. But I'd love to win our first European trophy, especially against a fellow English team. Just to let you guys know. Because you, ha you you won't know. You, you didn't see the last game of the season against Huddersfield. I played that behind the scenes. We managed to win, but unfortunately we didn't manage to finish above Arsenal. But fourth place in the Premier League to finish above Man City, Chelsea and Liverpool is rather special for a club our size. And I think we deserved it. We were fourth for the last quarter of the season. Uh, we were at least fifth from match day eight onwards, which is just incredible, really. We scored 64 goals, conceded 36. That was the difference this season. We actually scored four less goals, but our defence was magnificent and allowed us to finish quite a few, well, two more places above and also a lot more points, 16 more points. Spurs ran away with it in the end once again. I think that's their third title in a row, 99 points. Watford, Burnley and West Brom relegated. But to qualify for the Champions League via our league form is special. Last day of the season, we beat Huddersfield 3-2 away from home. Anthony got two goals. He's going into the final in great form. Vandenbroek scored as well, but also got sent off. And yeah, impressive result. Huddersfield are not a bad team at all. Uh, where did they finish? They finished 11th. They're really not a bad team. So, Chelsea. I did show you our past meetings against them in the last episode, but just to remind you, we've not got a bad bad history against them. We've beaten them three times. However, we've lost our last two games against them, both games in the Premier League this season we lost. But we finished above them. And the team to take Chelsea on is going to be this. Adrian Smith in goal. He's had a fine three seasons with the club. Let's hope he can perform today. Ray Henriquez at right back. Let's, I'll just show you the players. There'll be plenty of you watching this. So YouTube Premier, get involved in the chat if you are watching it as a YouTube Premier. But there's probably plenty of you watching this that haven't tuned in for a while, so you may not know some of the players. So I'll just reintroduce them to you. Ray Henriquez, our Portuguese right back. Pacey, down that right hand side. Rios, our Mexican centre back, who has been sent stupendous over the last in particular the last two seasons the first season was pretty good as well alongside him is Isidoro Rodriguez on loan from Atletico Madrid who managed to win the young player of the season award in the Premier League he I, I, I have to try and sign him in the summer I just have to he has been absolutely fantastic at the back and will be up for the player of the season award I'm sure Matt Smith our record signing 65 million pounds for this 19 year old left back he's been capped by England I think he's worth the money because he's had a really good season in every single competition that he has played for the club and internationally as well special special talent Novak our new signing in January got off to a slow start but has scored his first goal for the club got a couple of assists recently as well let's hope he can put some decent crosses in down that right hand side Vandenbroek our Belgian wonder kid He's a full Belgian international these days. I've given just offered him a new contract. It's going to double his wages, more than double his wages. Uh, and it's I've inserted a £90 million release clause into that contract. Hopefully he can perform as well. Our central midfielders never really a standout players in this tactic. But they are very important. Tarasenko is most important really for set pieces. That's 17 on corners really does help on the left hand side Torsten Lenz who's really been quite prolific at times this season he's I noticed he played Champions League football for um Salzburg before he left the club he must, he played four games in it last summer so he's he's played in the Champions League and the Europa League this year he's got 14 goals for us this season he's also managed to score two for Salzburg before he left so he's been he's had a prolific season he's 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 done well from that left hand side Navaretti, Carly Navaretti, 15 goals this season. 
not quite so good as last year in terms of goals, but he's been very important for us. Alongside Anthony, our top goal scorer, had a fantastic start to the season, drifted sort of between January to April time, not so good, but recent weeks, He's been on fire again and scored two goals in his last in his last game against Huddersfield. Very, very important. He will lead the line. We've got I'm able to have 12 players on the bench, which is seems quite unusual. But anyway, David Okoro is going to be on the bench. He just has to be. He's on the bench instead of Macaulay Simpson, which I kinda I kinda feel sorry for him really. Putting Okoro in there instead. Canadian Rodriguez, Will Loader, Mark Gale, Andrea Aloisi, Bruno Agra, Tasakovic, Serenity, Christian's back from injury, which is really good news. Mark Ball. And Safik Kalechi, Mark Ball, of course, scored two goals in the semi-final in the last video. And Ray Rigg, his last ever appearance in a Regen Rovers team because he is retiring in the summer. And I thought it was fitting to allow him to be on the bench. He was actually registered just because the homegrown rule. I needed to get some homegrown players in there. So that's the reason why he was included in the Europa League squad. But he's on the bench as well, despite being injured. Right, let's get on with this. The Europa League final taking place in Scotland. Uh, Celtic Park, yeah, Celtic Park. 60,000 people heading up to Scotland to see Regen Rovers versus Chelsea. They are the favourites, but we got to fancy our chances. We've had a brilliant season. Let's end it in style by beating them in the Europa League final. Are you ready? Let me know your predictions. It's going to be tough. Chelsea have a very good team. Look at the players that they have. An England international with 41 goals for his country. Exceptionally talented player. Top goal scorer for them this season. They've got a player called De Bruyne, who's Belgian. That's, that's just asking for trouble. Philip Harris, another English international, ex-English international. Looks really good still. Martinez, a Spanish international. They've got a fairly ageing team. But overall, a very talented team. And although it's ageing, just like the Napoli team that we took on in the semi-final, I think they are better. They're better players. David Duckett, English international, 26. He's not too old. Chilean international alongside him. Anderson on the left. English international, left back, 124 caps for his country. And lastly, a Brazilian goalkeeper. It's going to be tough. But we finished above them in the league. However, we did lose both games against them. Let's go for that. I'm going to try and focus on the positive stuff. I'm wearing, hopefully, what will be a, a lucky gold tie. Let's close down everyone, I think. I suppose I should do the tunnel interview. Here we are, ready and waiting. There I am in my cold suit on the sides. Slightly less exuberant from the Chelsea manager. <laughs> Can't believe I've worn a gold suit since, what, seventh tier of English football days. Here's Navarretti with a free kick early on, 10th. 16th goal of the season, sorry. It's a beautiful free kick from Carly Navaretti two minutes in. I did actually mean to put it uh, to extend highlights. I know some of you find it painful, but we've got to do it for a final, haven't we? To add to the, the tension, add to the drama. It is a beautiful free kick from the captain on the pitch today. Mark Ball, of course, club captain is on the bench, but Navaretti is uh, our third choice captain, I think, behind... Mark Ball and Will Loader. Here come Chelsea, though, looking to get straight back into it. Our first shot is a free kick, and it's a goal. Novak clears. Novak can't win it back. And Dewati for Chelsea. Into Anderson. Into Harris. To Salinas. We just let him shoot there, which is disappointing. We've not scored that many free kicks lately. Navaretti's been saving up for the Europa League final, I think. He's, he's had a... Fairly quiet season. He's gone about his job in a proficient way. Not as many goals this year as last year. But he's obviously scored a very important one today and he's been a great asset to the team. Here's Ray Henriquez. Chucks it into the box. It's a bit of a strange throw in, really. Not sure what he was trying to do. Here's uh, Henriquez again to Matt Smith. He's got space. He's found Torsten Lenz. Crosses it in. Navaretti can't get there. But here's Tarasenko blocked. Anthony, can he turn and shoot? He can't. It's back to Novak. And that's clear. That's a bit of a shame. Two shots each in this game. It's not been, in terms of actual shots, it's not been the most exciting game. But we've had plenty of highlights. Probably because I've put it on extended, let's be honest. Here's uh, Camarara crossing it in. Martinez runs back to Anderson. Duarte. Salinas again. He's already had a long shot, but that one's blocked. And Kamara, that's blocked as well. Brilliant defended by Lenz. Look at us getting back in numbers. Corner to Chelsea. Oh no. 
Oh no, it's cleared. And Navaretti heads it to Anthony. And now can we break? It's back to Navaretti. Uh, he's slowed down possession. He's won a free kick. Should have played it out wide to Lens, though, I think. They're, oh, they're, they're, they're pummeling us at the moment. They've not created any clear chances. But it's been a little bit tense. Which is what I want, really, from this game. That's headed away by Ray Henriquez Duarte. To Anderson. Into Harris. To Martinez. He's fired it wide. Oh, an injury for Duarte. That's probably good news. Unless they've got someone really good on the bench. Which they probably do. Let's be honest. I know Mascara is very good. So, that free kick from Navaretti is the difference at half-time. We're 1-0 up. Question is, what do I do? What do I say? Well, we'll go for that for the time being. I don't think there's any need to time waste. I might turn... I'm not going to change anything yet. Sometimes I make too many changes. I know I'm a bit of a tinker man at times, especially in these situations. I think I'll leave it unbalanced. And just... We'll wait toward, towards the end. I'll do some time wasting. But I probably still won't go defensive or anything. I've not done that all season. Here's Van den Broek. Tarasenko. To Navaretti. Turns brilliantly. Navaretti's still going. Decent effort. He's the star man today. Possibly could pick up player of the season, I suppose. I will put um, two semi-finals on Twitter. Eight players. We'll narrow it down to four. Navaretti. Oh, that's a weird header. Yeah, um, Mark Ball has won it every single season, but he probably won't be up for the award this year. Uh, I don't think he's in the top eight players. But he did get us into this, or help us into this final, of course, with two very important goals. Van den Proek, 15th yellow card of the season. <sighs> Nervous now. We've been solid. Both teams have been solid. They're a bit unfortunate to be losing to a direct free kick. If I was in that situation, I would not be happy. Here's De Bruyne. Has to shot. Easy save for Smith. Just straight down his throat. Half an hour to go. Can we hang on? They're looking frustrated and anxious. We're looking motivated. Do I make a change? I might take Van den Broek off actually and throw on Andrea Aloisi, which could be his last game for the club on loan from Dortmund. There's a possibility I might try and sign him in the summer as backup to Van den Broek next year. We'll see. See how much money I have to spend. There are positions I want to improve, of course. Maybe get a better goalie in. Adrian Smith's good, but it'd be nice if we can get an even better one in. Oh, no, a chance. Great save. He did just make a really good save, but the rebound from Roberto Martinez. I'm not sure what Ray Henriquez was doing at the back post there, and Chelsea are back into it. Oh, that's a real shame. 1-1. One, one. It's probably deserved. It, it, neither the team deserves to be winning. It's a really dangerous ball, and then Ray Henriquez just didn't really get the right contact on it, did he? Smith made a very good save, but he couldn't keep out the second one. But we've won a corner here, and we're dangerous from corners. Matt Smith crosses it in, and it's a penalty. And Anthony, with 19 on penalties, the best penalty take we've ever had in terms of his attributes. This is massive. Come on, smash it in, Anthony. And he does. Oh, he's completely sent the goalkeeper the wrong way with his eyes, I think. He started wandering to the left. And Anthony's one goal off, reaching 20. Look at this. Oh, cheeky. Cheeky penalty. 2 1 up. Suddenly come alive this game. We've won a throw in now in a dangerous position. Matt Smith into the box. And it's easily caught by the keeper. Oh, I can't remember the last time we didn't have a striker score 20 goals in one season. It, has there ever been? There probably is at some point, but I don't know. Maybe the first season in the championship or something. I'm not entirely sure. Here's Aloisi. Aloisi. Oh, he's still going. It was a really good determined run. Rodriguez into Tarasenko. Back to Isidora Rodriguez. Knocks it long. Headed away as far as Novak. Here he is. Novak drives into the box. Straight at the keeper, though. That was a chance to do something. Two more subs to make. I suppose a fourth if it goes to extra time. We've got some tired legs out there. Matt Smith on 73%. Might bring Christian on for, for Novak, actually. His first game since months ago. Which is a brave move to make. He's, he's played an under-23 game to try and build up his match fitness. But he's been really... He was really good before his injury. And here he is. Into Aloisi. Into Anthony. Anthony. Back, oh, it's ter terrible from Anthony. What are you doing? That was a really good opportunity. 
Now Rios is out of position trying to win it back. Matt Smith does well, but they're still in possession. And here's Kamara, or Camera. Hopkinson, Matt Smith intercepts, and Rios. Just be patient, nothing stupid, lads. Matt Smith pumps it. Anthony does well this time. Look at him go. Anthony. Navaretti. Oh, it was going into the corner, but it didn't have enough power on it. Kind of want to bring Mark Ball off the bench. Just because. Uh, but I, I, I honestly just can't risk it. Because if they equalise, it goes to penalties. And I've taken Anthony off, for example. Then that's that's bad. Um, I need to think about the, the players that can win us this game. And at the moment, I don't think there's any need to make a change. I might make a change in injury time. Perhaps I won't make the third sub. Just, I'm worried that they'll score a late equaliser. And we'll have to think about penalties. At the moment, we're going to be the champions of the Europa League. Can we hang on for a few minutes? A free kick and a penalty from us today. Uh, 88 minutes on the clock and Chelsea in our attack, in our defensive third. Oh, no, Navaretti doesn't go. I thought Navaretti had intercepted it. Fortunately, it's fired well over the bar. Anthony's going to play deep. And I think I will make that change. Tosakovic is going to come on for Torsten Lenz. Some more fresh legs on the wings. Positions which seem to run a lot for us. Midfield positions run a hell of a lot. Just injury time to go. Yeah, it's sad I didn't bring on a Corey Mark Ball or Ray Rig for this possible momentous moment. The last minute and a half. But I had I have to... I have to try and win the game. That's the thing. I, you know, I needed to make the subs that would win us this game. And with a minute to go, we have every chance here. Matt Smith. We just waste time. It's to Christian. Christian to win it. Hits it over the bar. Let's just time waste even more. Just a few seconds. Tarasenko. Rios can't win it. To sack it. Why have we got so many men in the box? Tarasenko cleared. And surely this will be the final whistle. Matt Smith. It's blocked. It's cleared again. Ref, blow the whistle. Don't do this to me. Come on. Come on, ref. Please. This is surely it. Surely. It's dragging it out. Oh, come on. 39 seconds. Oh, 40. 41. Matt Smith is taking his time. And still no final whistle. What the hell are you doing, ref? Blow the whistle to Sakovic. Tackled. And there we go. We have won the Europa League. Look at us. We deserve that. There's a Coro and his Rupert the Bear jumper. There I am in my gold suit and my gold tie. Loving life. Mark Ball will be up there holding the trophy at some point, I'm sure. Oh, what a journey. F from nothing, from absolutely nothing to winning the Europa League. And next year... We're going to be playing in the Champions League. That's the real proper European competition we want to be competing in and, and hopefully winning. It would be a miracle if we win it next year, of course. But we've, we've won the Europa League, so I don't see any reason why we can't compete in the Champions League. Get out of our group. Have a decent campaign. What a, what a year. Fourth in the Premier League. Champions of the Europa League. We celebrate the double because we won the Hampshire Senior Cup as well. That's pretty funny. And we're rich. Loads of money coming in for this one. Uh, yeah, plenty of money. Plenty of money. Lots of money. Yes, money. I mean, a lot of it goes to the players, but still money. Yes. That's the Europa League review. Overachievers are Regen Rovers. That's good to see, isn't it? What a season it has been. Thank you for journeying with me. Next year, we're going to push on. We're going to improve this team even more. And, I mean, we'll say goodbye to a few players, I'm sure. But we'll say hello to some new, hopefully, world-class players that will improve this squad. And we can push on from here and compete for that Premier League title. Compete for that Champions League title. Compete for everything that we're in. That would be amazing. But thank you for watching today's episode. I hope you can go home happy. I know you're sitting at home. Most probably. Maybe you're not sitting at home. But you're most probably sitting at home. But I hope you're happy anyway. The, the gold tie worked. It's going to be a lucky gold tie in the future. Hopefully we'll win every single final when I wear it. Until next time, enjoy FM19. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.